not every day you see a group of women dancing around a table singing nursery rhymes. But this particular group of ladies say they've been there, done that, and now they just want to have fun. The Red Hat Society is the largest social group for women in the world, with 70,000 members in 23 countries. Ambassador for the Society Carol Conrad says the Red Hat chapters have the freedom to do pretty well anything they'd like. We do teas, we do luncheons, we go to plays, we go to concerts, we have potlucks, we play games, we have card nights, yeah, anything, anything anybody wants to do. You know, somebody in your group says, I want to go to a movie, okay, what night are we going? And we go, of course, dressed accordingly. You don't go without your Red Hat clothes. <laughs> The attire of the Red Hatters has made the organization iconic. Donning red hats and purple clothing, members are always dressed to the nines for social events, unless of course a member is celebrating a birthday, in which case they switch their colors. Conrad says their outfits were derived from a birthday gift, which kick-started the society 15 years ago. The society started by Sue Ellen Cooper giving her friend a red hat for her 50th birthday just because she wanted something fun to give her and gave her a poem, started with two ladies whose friends said, hey, this is fun, do we get one too? And as people turned 50, they got red hats. And from one group of 12 ladies, we've spread across the world. All women in the Red Hat Society are considered equal. Anyone can start their own chapter simply by registering. The head of the chapter is referred to as the Queen. She'll often have a Vice Queen followed by her royal subjects. Queen of the Carnations and Roses chapter in Lethbridge, Susanna Burns, says there's often a misconception about the society's age requirements. I am a pink hatter simply because I am under 50. I was looking for a group of women to have a good time with and just laugh and have fun. 50 and over, they're called red hatters. Under 50 are pink hatters. All of the women have a different story as to why they've joined the society, but their reason for staying with the organization seems to be the same. I have friends now all over the world. I have an invitation to go to Mexico to visit my twin, who is actually the same year, same day as my birthday, all connected through the Red Hat Society by a lady who sets up twins program, and she's invited me to come and see her anytime I want to come. The women in my chapter, many of them have said over and over, I never thought that at this point in my life I would have as many wonderful girlfriends as I have now. I just love the fellowship of all the ladies here. If you're a woman, sorry boys, wanting to look into the society, you can visit the website, or if you're in the Southern Alberta area, you can give Sandy Cook a call. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Fallon Wagner.